On this episode of Science vs. Cinema, we're looking at Black Panther. In this segment, we'll try to figure out how those cool Wakandan holograms work. In 1977, George Lucas wowed audiences with the Princess Leia effect. What's this? A video you can see in three dimensions without glasses. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. This has inspired people to try to recreate the effect for 40 years. Black Panther takes this a huge leap forward. In this world, you can interact with a hologram and use it to remotely pilot a vehicle. Remote driving system activated. Astronomers have been remotely controlling telescopes from a distance for years. The Keck telescope is at the top of a volcano in Hawaii, so high up that it's hard for humans to think straight. As a result, we operate it from sea level. I can use a room in California to drive the telescope more than 2,000 miles away in Hawaii. Pilots have been remotely operating drones flying in other countries for years. In fact, remotely killing people during the day, then going home to your family at night, has caused new forms of psychological distress. But what about those Wakandan holograms? I don't know how to make the 3D visuals, but it looks like the interactive parts are nanoparticles made of vibranium, similar to Black Panther's suit. I don't have any vibranium nanoparticles, but I do have some iron filings. Sprinkle them on a magnet, we can see that they actually take on the shape of the magnetic field underneath. So maybe if I move this magnetic field around, I can get things to take on complex 3D shapes. So if I tilt it up a little, you can see that it's actually sticking out of the magnet. It's a little hard to see with the iron filings, but we do have some nanoparticles of iron suspended in oil here. It's a ferrofluid. When we change the magnetic field, we can actually change the shape that these things have and we can make complex three-dimensional shapes. So maybe a more advanced version of this is what they have in Black Panther. Remote piloting system activated. Could I build something that would hold the weight of a person? It's possible, but there's a catch. Every now and then, some designer will come up with a levitating bed or chair, but these things never make it to market because they're wildly impractical. Basically, they have super strong magnets, and if you get them screwed up, you can do some real damage. But hey, that's just an engineering challenge. Here goes nothing. The point is, holograms you can interact with are based on solid physics, with just a few steps beyond what we can do today. That's exactly how good science fiction should work. If you like this segment, check out the rest on Black Panther and subscribe to Science vs. Cinema. I'm an astrophysics professor, but I'm also a huge film geek. On this show, we take a look at the science in movies. We celebrate when they get it right. It's something that could actually happen. And we school them when they get it wrong. Let's see what happens when we introduce some Martian wind. This is Science vs. Cinema.